welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Jaria, and I'm back with another video for today. Well, since I actually came on here, to be honest, y'all, I've been so freaking tired. All I've been wanting to do is sleep. I feel better. I am honestly feel more wide awake, more energetic. So I decided to come on here, and I actually had a subscriber request for Selena Gomez. I'm definitely going to be doing that today. Um, I actually wrote down some questions of what I wanted to answer because I didn't really know like all I don't know I just wanted to get like a whole list on here so I can get like more organized you know with the video so the video is gonna be well it's already in the title our topic today is what's next in love for Selena Gomez now as we know she has been with Justin we ain't even gonna talk all about you know what i actually am gonna talk a little bit about it because y'all when i tell y'all i was so freaking shocked yo oh i felt some new tea y'all i literally watched a freaking tea chat about justin and Haley and selena and y'all know justin proposed to selena first and then she denied because he cheated on her so many times and he decided to marry Haley two months after i would have been devastated no wonder um no wonder selena took that as hard as she did i honestly don't i feel so bad for selena but girl i mean y'all i'm sorry i'm sorry because i know not only girls watch my videos but y'all when i tell y'all Ooh, she didn't Zayn Malik. Now, I hope I'm saying his last name right. Malik or Malik. Let me know in the comments. Um, It's pronounced, well, it's M-A-L-I-K. That's how you say his last name. Spell his last name, but. And I hope I'm saying his first name right, too. Y'all gonna correct me in the comments. You know, please correct me in the comments. But you guys. So, y'all. So, I have a list. So, to, so on the list we have is Selena Gomez really dating Zayn Malik, which I feel like we are because I mean there was video proof and stuff like that. They were holding hands, they was kissing. But y'all, I want to know like the nitty gritty. Like I want, I'm nosy as fuck. Like I really want to know like if they're like you know dating or like friends and benefits or you know like situationship or you know like romance like real deal like boyfriend girlfriend type shit that's what i want to find out today and then we also got <laughs> will Zane, will zane malik put a ring on it because don't y'all want to know if our disney princess is going to get proposed to i'm ready for her to have that baby like i feel like her kid will be so cute and then we have, do you see them having any kids in the future? Pretty much the same as, wait, did I even? Yeah, I think I just said that. Are they actually really happy together? I think they are, but you know, some people, some of you guys might want to know if you think they're actually really happy together or if it's just like a, ce a celebrity stunt. So we're going to find that out too. And then we're also gonna figure out is is it true that Justin Bieber really married Haley Baldwin because she reminds him of Selena Gomez? Now I heard that too on a um, gossip show. Uh, I heard that shit too. He literally told, ah, oh, yo, I actually I seen something and I'm going to put it in this video, but it was like this um, locket thing, this keychain thing. Uh, oh no no, it said something like, I'm so glad I did not marry what i thought i wanted like bitch what the fuck are you trying to say it ain't about me sips tea okay um mm. by the way y'all if you are interested i'm drinking puka tea i don't know if i'm saying it right puka or puka 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 tea and the puka tea that i got it's lemon ginger and manuka honey close up and then in this tea i have earl gray for caffeine because this one does not have caffeine in it and i am not going a day without caffeine because i refuse to have headaches so um oh and our last question is um how does justin bieber feel about selena gomez and zayn malik together now we're gonna get into the nitty-gritty of this is selena gomez really dating zayn malik or is it just a celebrity 
stunt. Please, Lord, let me be saying his name right, y'all. If I'm saying it wrong, please don't get on me in the comments. Just tell me politely, because I'm a very sensitive person. I really am, though. A lot of people don't think I am, but I am a very sensitive person. If you get to know me, but yeah, anyways. <laughs> Is Selena Gomez really dating Zayn and Mallory in a relationship right now to answer that question? But someone is having some type of just unfocused energy with this Knight of Wands. That's all I see for that. But then I'm going to move on if it ain't about me. Let's um, move on. Will Zayn Malik, will Zayn Malik put a ring on it? Y'all, tell me how I got the, um, the self-love card with the broken heart and we got the crying over spilled milk and we got the eight of swords y'all what the fudge and then i asked like the um i asked the outcome of this relationship and we got the nine of swords in reverse we got the nine of swords in reverse guys so i'm gonna take that as a no i don't see him proposing it is energy so it could change but as of right now i i'm reading their energy and um yeah i'm not seeing him i don't see him proposing right but y'all i'm about to go in more on selena gomez love life because i want my girl to be happy so what's next in love for selena can you please tell me that? Um, okay, so what I see coming next in love for Selena is, um, truthfully, I see self-love because I see we have the world card in reverse and we also have the sun card in reverse. And these pretty much talk about like insecurities and um, it talks about like insecurities and just like negative thoughts, negative thinking. Um, yeah, that's what I see. And with this Knight of Swords, I do see that she is going to be focusing her energy like once she... Oh, God. I do see that she is going to be focusing her energy on her work. But it is probably going... It's going to... Um, she's going to, like, overwork herself like a workaholic. She probably has Capricorn in her placement. I know she's a... I think she's a Cancer. I gotta put her not her um her birthday on there so I can know for sure. But I think she's a Cancer. She might have Capricorn placements because I know Capricorns are known to like overwork a lot. But I do see her overworking, putting her time only in her business, and you know what's gonna benefit her. I do see that. But I do see with the um, Six of Wands. Yes, she is gonna get that recognition that she deserves, and she is going to be six. Well, she's done. She's already successful, but she's going to get that recognition that she worked for even more but i do see that she's going to burn out with all that work like she's going to be tired like drained like she's gonna feel overworked because she's putting in all her energy on to her craft instead of like you know something else so i do see her putting all her energy on her work and stuff next um can you tell me some more like what's next in love like after this period like how is the person that she's going to um end up with like how what's give me like some clues of like who this person is just show me like their qualities like show me like what they would like how are they like how would what type of person would they be? How will we know it's that person that we're talking about if you see her with somebody else after this? Because y'all, your girl is nosy and your girl wants to know. And I figured you guys would want to too. So, um, Spirit, if you was to um, describe the next person that Selena Gomez was to talk to, can you please tell me, show me their characteristics, please? Show me, let me know like how I would know it's this person that, you know, we talked about in this specific reading. And y'all, if she ends up talking to someone else, I want y'all to come back to this reading and be like, 
you was right because yo i be see i be peeping when i be right sometimes and i be like oh yes i said that shit but um um show me like the characteristics of this next person for some reason y'all so i okay so i'm back on here and i had to read a little bit you know so with this three of cups i do see the three of cups in reverse i do see that this might be this relationship currently that she's in all right y'all this um this card in reverse actually talks about her needing to see the value that she brings into the relationship like she's this boss ass bitch she's a boss ass bitch but she doesn't see it so i feel like she needs to see it before anyone else can see it notice she is that i promise you like it's going to be a whole new change it's gonna be a whole new change guys and i do see that her king of cups is coming in and may i read you the king of cups card okay with the king of cups card that talks about love emotional intelligence patience experience stability and balance creativity diplomacy diplomacy someone supportive being nurturing and a wise leader so i do see her finding that perfect match um after she realized who the fuck she is um after she breaks out you know those negative emotions and um insecurities and that is normal i'm not even i'm not even judging i'm 100 percent not judging at all like she is human um there is stuff there's bullying that be going on and shit like i honestly get it like everyone has securities even i have some myself um but i do see once she moves past that energy and like notice who she is i do see that a big change is going to happen in her relationships because i am believe i do believe i'm a firm believer that stuff happens for a reason and you're brought to like different situations different relationships for a reason and that goes for everybody like um like if you have like a shitty relationship you're gonna keep getting those shitty relationships over and over and over and over again until you like learn like your um until you learn a lesson to like not put up with that shit anymore and to go for something new and that that could be hard to do because we do have um what's the word that's actually very difficult to do because i mean comfort is actually very com i mean that's comforting to us or to that could be comforting to her for the people that she goes to because that's what she's used to and that's what yeah that's what she's used to but i promise you once she she is going to get that um that time for self-loving and reflection and it is going to make her want to change the types that she go for and i do see her king of cups coming through with the king of cups card um and the knight of wands i do see them traveling together Ooh, i do see them traveling together and i do see them actually having a good family having a nice family probably even a baby as well i do have to ask if she, is she having a baby because the ten of pentacles mean all of it like the marriage the kids the house i do see that happening for her but just not now um spirit says she's not ready right now this ten of pentacles are you saying that when she finds that person um, is she gonna have do you guys see her having kids in the future okay so yes guys I do see that she is going to have a baby in the future with um, someone that she marries and someone that she's gonna have a commitment with I do see that in the cards um, yeah and I do see them being actually very happy I cannot tell you when because it's divine timing. I actually tried asking when and the wheel the wheel of fortune card came up and they were like all I heard was divine timing, Drea, divine timing. So, um yeah, guys. That's going to be divine timing. The question is um are they actually really happy? Is Selena Gomez insane actually really happy? Let's see. One more, please. Um, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. We have the Sun upright, and we have the High Priestess. 
Okay guys, so I do see that they are actually very happy. Um, he thinks of her as her mute as his muse. Um, I have to cover the card up because it's actually nudity on here. I don't know if I showed you this card already. I don't think I did, but with this card right here, you see, um, oh gosh. Okay, so he is this guy, this person right here, this girl. Well, I'm not gonna say girl, but she is a girl on here. But this person represents um Zayn Malik, and this girl right here represents Selena. He been as um, it said in the tablets and on the celebrity channels, he had an eye for Selena for the longest. Like he been found that she, he been thought that she was very attractive, but he was in a relationship. Y'all, I'm so sorry. I met married. Um, he was actually married to G um, Gigi Hadid. That's who he was married to. She's a um, she's a really successful model. Um, and they actually have a lovely little baby girl as well. Actually pretty supportive of Selena Gomez and him dating. She just wants him to be a good co -parent. This question because I've been dying to know this question. This question, I feel honestly, is the most juiciest question on here. And it is, is it true that Justin Bieber only married Selena Gomez? <laughs> is it true that Justin Bieber only married Hailey Bieber? because she she reminds him of selena gomez is it true that Haley baldwin reminds justin of selena gomez and i wonder in what way i'm really curious so i'm really yeah we gonna get we're gonna dwell in more on this guys don't worry about that we we got this okay so we're gonna figure out um did justin bieber really marry Haley bieber because he she reminds her she reminds him of um she reminds him of selena gomez yeah y'all it, it's it's true y'all i got the king of pentacles it's it's true yes 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 and i'm about to do some more cards to explain this i'm about to do some more cards what about um what about Haley did gosh how do i say this okay how does Haley reminds justin of selena gomez what qualities don't you want to know the qualities because yeah i don't see it but i mean they know he knows more because he's in a relationship <sighs> y'all i don't know how i can say this without being so unsensitive but i'm just gonna read these cards as is i'm so sorry okay listen okay so this is what justin thought that he met the love of his life um just like how he thought he met the love of his life when he met selena gomez i do see that um he thought he seen he seen the star he seen the queen of pentacles like the star card pop Ooh, nudity hopefully i gotta blur that out but the star card um we got the star card and then we also have the queen of pentacles maybe he probably thought that she could be a good mom um he probably he probably thought that he's seen that good motherly instinct energy and the star very nurturing very good with nature very good with nature um and just like very like put together you know balance but then boom change a change happened the death card came out we roll into the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune um and that wheel of fortune karma was at a saver because he did selena gomez wrong um and all those swords with this eight of wands all of these wands came charging at justin with this nine of swords now um he did he does have to accept his karma because of the way he treated selena gomez that's a part of life and he does feel guilty about how the way that he treated her and how everything even went down like he felt guilty for everything and it eats him up at night guys i think he feels it the most at night um and I don't really think that he's really that happy right now at the moment, but I do see, 
yeah like he just regrets like what he did to her and i do see that he he thought that he found the love of his life like he did with um when he found selena but i guess that was just an illusion and god was testing him and um he failed so um anyways <laughs> Um, next we have, how does Justin Bieber feel about Selena Gomez and Zayn Malik together? Now, I kind of already know this answer because he feels guilty for what he did to her. So I'm pretty sure he wants her back. That's just my, my assumption, assumption, that's just my assumption, but we're just going to get into it. Um. How does Justin Bieber really feel about Je about Selena Gomez and um, Zayn Malik? Uh. How does he feel about them together? Talk to me. How does he feel about them together? How does he feel about them together? Please connect me. Temporarily connection to Justin for this answer. Um, the Nine of Wands. Um, can you get one more, please, for clarification? Okay. So we have the Nine of Wands in the okay, So, um, guys, I actually see that he's actually very happy for her. He's glad that she's moving on and she seems happier and you know that she's she's feeling better um he's just glad that she's happy he's a really good he's a, actually a really big supporter of selena um whether he keeps it to himself because probably you know Haley or whatever but yeah i do see that he is really he's a really good supportive support system for her um he really supports selena and he just wants the best for her and he just wants her to be happy that's what i see with these cards um yeah guys and that was it if you guys got today. this far to the video please leave me a tea emoji a teacup emoji so let to let me know that you actually watched my video and give me a like to let me know that you liked it and please let me know what you guys want to see in the comments down below um you can dm me also on my instagram my instagram is right in the description down below but i'm also going to appear it right here right in front of me somewhere and um i hope you guys enjoyed this video just as much as i enjoyed making it so i will see you guys in the next video i hope you guys have a great day and stay blessed Bye, so we are now going to witness the beautiful couple and they're walking and walking and walking they just look so happy marriage looks so good and they're walking <laughs>